guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a really different video in that me and my dad, yeah, we are road tripping just outside of Atlanta. We live in St. Louis. And as you may be able to tell, there is a trailer back there. We're gonna fill it full with Goodwill stuff. Just kidding. He is uh, delivering a car that he restored and he is selling. So on our way, we are going to stop by a few Goodwills and see what we can find. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I'll let you know when we hit our first store. And here's a quick look at the Gateway Arch, what St. Louis is known for. We'll see you soon. Also, I have these new Ray-Ban glasses. They are transition, so they're sunglasses and glasses for my prescription. And they have a camera inside of them, so I'm going to use them for thrifting. So you should see some footage with these on. Uh, so it won't be in 16 by 9, so it will be a little bit different. Tell me, do I look like Dana Carvey from Wayne's World? Hmm. We have your grandpa's clothes. They look incredible. Our first stop is Mount Vernon, Illinois. A quick pan of the store. And then here is me checking my glasses out. My first stop in Goodwill is always the shoes. I only found one pair of shoes here that I was thinking about. I actually forgot to pick them back up. They were Stuart Weidsman and I have a 100% sell-through rate with Stuart Weidsman. It just takes forever to move. These were only a $4.59, but totally forgot to grab them. Then I went over to the dress section and found this new to me brand. Jude Connolly. Comps were all over the place on eBay. It was a little better than Poshmark. Poshmark was pretty much crap. So hopefully this will sell on eBay. So I grabbed this. I was so disappointed when I saw this Tommy Bahama. I love selling Tommy Bahama, but it was just way too faded. And then we come to the Boston Proper, and I kind of regret not picking this up. I have 100% sell-through rate with Boston Proper, but Comps were not looking the best. There was one that sold for a lot right there, but it was not the same pattern. So I decided to skip on that. And then I found this Sundance dress. I never find Sundance. I did find it in Mississippi once. This one had a stain. It was a sweater dress, so I was hoping it would probably sell now. But the Sundance that I do have is just sitting. The listing prices for this was pretty high, but there was none that were sold that were like this. And so I decided not to get this one and I ended up passing. And then over here, we find Karl Lagerfeld. I think a lot of people pass on Karl Lagerfeld, but I didn't even look this one up. It does look like there are similar selling for around 35. Oh, and what do you know? It was karma coming back to me. I did find a Tommy Bahama linen dress. It was sleeveless. And then right behind it was another Tommy Bahama and another Tommy Bahama, three Tommy Bahamas. So I was so excited to pick those up. Marion, Illinois. Two? excited yeah. <laughs> isn't my dad the cutest so i went to the denim section this time because i skipped it in the last store and i found these big star jeans i've never sold this brand before so i did uh look at the size and it was a bit smaller i still looked them up just for fun and it doesn't look like they're going for as much as i remember so i decided to pass on these due to the size and they were uh just a little bit more expensive and then one of my favorite brands to find is Can Can. I do really well with this, but uh, again, the size was really, really small and I have enough of them already, so I decided to pass. What well, was super pumped about this find, it was Carhartt overalls and overalls sell really, really well for me. Unfortunately, the price was whoa, way too high. So I had to pass on those. And then I found a soft surroundings. It was a good size, a size large. I am a little bit more picky about soft surroundings. This was linen and it just had embroidery on it. So I like this one and I picked. And so this is a fun one. They are Ariat jeans. I know I my friends told me to pick up Ariat jeans. I love them so much because this one actually sold already within seconds of listing. Yes, I do the crotch check on all of the jeans. Clarksville, Tennessee, Goodwill. 
This was probably my favorite Goodwill out of the whole trip because everything was super organized. Look, there's pink shoes, there's brown shoes, and there's black shoes all in their own little section. And side note, there was no tax in this state. So then I went over to the dress section and I found this Disney dress. It was a 3XL, so it wouldn't fit me, but I really loved it. And then I found a Lulu's jumpsuit. I am pretty picky with Lulu's right now, uh, $7.99. It was an XL, so it was a very good size. It was kind of like a satin feel, but it was not satin. But then I looked down on the legs and, th and there was some pulls and I looked even further down and it was really super dirty at the bottom. So I decided to pass. All right, comment below. Do you guys still pick up Lucky Brand? I cannot sell it to save my life. At $7.99, definitely going to pass on this one. But good golly, Miss Molly, this was so super cool. It had embroidery all over it. Ed Hardy is an iffy brand, but I did decide to pick this one up just because of the bold print. Again, the super cleanest Goodwill I have ever been in, and I would definitely stop by this Goodwill if I ever have a chance to again. Bye, Dad. That was it for our first day, and we stopped by Whataburger. They do not have a Whataburger in St. Louis, so this was a special treat for both of us. And sadly, this is us driving through Nashville. It was a little too late to go to any other Goodwills. I really wanted to hit a outlet in Nashville, but we could not make that happen. In the morning, we stopped for some breakfast at Crackle Barrel. I got a cinnamon roll latte, mm -mm -mm. And here we are passing through Atlanta, a little too early to do any shopping here. So we went straight to the car place to drop off the car. And then a few miles down from the car place, we went to this fish thrift store. Uh, my dad was not a fan of this. It did smell a little bit weird. And then they had this sign where they have things listed on eBay. So I ended up getting this Show Me Your Moo Moo. I don't even sell this brand, so I'm not really sure why I picked it up. But I did find this amazing flax jumpsuit with a matching jacket. I did look up comps online and they looked really, really good. So excited for this to sell. Yep. Another Loganville? Loganville, Georgia. <laughs> Still in Loganville and found another Goodwill right down the street. And I found this Saturday Sunday, which I don't ever pick up. It's an anthropology brand. It did have a little something something on the sleeve. And it just, I was a iffy th for me. And uh, I decided to pass on this one. Oh my gosh, Versace. Uh, this was definitely a total fake. It was a kid's size, but it was priced as a woman's. Uh, the reason I knew it was fake is because of the stitching up at the top. And then if you look at the material, it's all in Chinese or Japanese. So no. I thought I was in Georgia, not Illinois. I am. Uh, but I did find this uh, Chicago Blackhawks. It's a hockey team, a little jacket, and I decided to pass on this one. Another soft surroundings piece. This was plaid and it was a button down, which I was kind of like, meh, it was a size large and it was only 624, but then I turned it around and I was like, oh my gosh, velvet, I have to have this. So I grabbed that. It will number 442. <laughs> Funny. At this point, I kind of figured my dad was done with Goodwills, but then I found Chanel. I'm just kidding. This was a total fake. What even is that brand? And then I found another one. Oh my gosh. But yeah, again, fake. I used to pick up anything Matilda Jane. I was looking this one over and decided against it, even though it was a half price, the comps just weren't there. And then I found this Lulu's jumpsuit. It was an extra large and it was priced right. So I grabbed that. Then DKNY sells really well for me, surprisingly. And this was a scuba dress, which I sell really well in Calvin Klein. So I grabbed this one. And then I debated really hard about this Matilda Jane, but I again ended up passing. It was a small size and it was a regular price. So I really didn't want to spend that much money. And this trip ended up being 52 hours total. And we are back in St. Louis where we live. All right, that is the end of this video and the epic road trip, including thrift stores along the way. This road trip went from St. Louis to Loganville, just outside of Atlanta. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.